proud. That's the word San Antonio native Julian Castro used to describe his experience just two days after suspending his presidential bid. The former San Antonio mayor and federal HUD sec secretary sat down with me today to go over his long campaign, his decision to end it, and what comes next. Non-stop traveling, campaigning, and voicing opinions about his ideal America. Julian Castro, now back home in San Antonio. It's been a fantastic experience. Uh, obviously, I, I wish that the, the outcome were different, but we worked hard and articulated a vision uh, for the future of our country that I believe a lot of people responded to. It's been two days since he dropped out of the race. It became clear that it wasn't my time, but we did help shape the debate and move the conversation forward on a number of issues. I think that uh, all in all, it was worth it. In the debates, Castro became known for his focus on some controversial topics. Whether on immigration or housing or uh, you know, addressing police reform or a number of other issues that I think need to be addressed. Getting any words in during the debates was a feat in itself. You have a lot of talented people that are running for president this year, more than any other year, uh, I think, for Democrats. It's a very fractured race, and who knows what's going to happen at this point. But what I do know is that I'll make sure to, to be one of those voices uh, for change in the fall of 2020 so that we have a new president and somebody that stands up for all Americans. So will he endorse one of those Democratic candidates still in the race? Right now, I'm focused on wrapping up my campaign and we're going to have a process of thinking through what went w right and then, you know, what we could have done better. Uh, eventually, I'll, I'll make a decision on that. Regardless, he says he wants yeah. to see more partisanship in the future. Do you feel hopeful for America? I do. Yeah, I'm fundamentally hopeful about our country. I saw a lot of great things out there and a lot of heard from a lot of good people. Sometimes progress doesn't happen as quickly as we'd like. But it happens, and you know, I believe that we're going to get through this time period of division. I asked Castro about his plans for the future. All he said was that they are open-ended and that he's using this time to wrap up the campaign and all the things associated with it.